Do you want that microphone thing in the background to pull in? This is an experiment with a spinning wheel, quite a big wheel. It's of iron and weighs, we'll see in a minute, quite a lot of pounds. It's 13 inches diameter and it's mounted on a shaft three feet long. So let's just weigh it on this balance. And you see lifting it like this is quite an effort in itself. You'll see that it weighs about 40 pounds. And when I talk, I'm under stress like that because it is a heavy thing to have to pick up. Now what I'm going to do next is to spin it up to two and a half thousand revs a minute with some assistance. When it's spinning, it becomes a live thing. Now whilst I'm lifting it, I'm going to talk so that you shall see from my voice that I'm not under any stress of any kind. Wait a minute, I'm going to let go with my left hand and holding with my right only on the far end of the shaft, I shall lift it five feet in three seconds and I shall talk to you quietly as I do it because it goes up all on its own, you see, without any real conscious effort from me other than simply steering it round a path that I happen to know it likes to go. Then we have the problem of stopping it. The wood. <laughs> when spinning that wheel has enough energy to throw itself 200 feet in the air. I can lift it with one hand using virtually no force at all. You'll also notice that as it went round in a circle there was no centrifugal force trying to pull me across the laboratory. Right. Okay. From the top. Yes, please. Right. I'd rather thread that through there, yeah. Yes. Okay, any time you're ready, go ahead. All right. This is an experiment with a spinning wheel, a rather large wheel, 13 inches diameter, mounted in a ball bearing on a shaft three feet long. I am going to hold it like this and swing it in a circle and lift it with one hand, but only when it's spinning. First of all, let me weigh it to show you just how heavy it is. As I talk, you'll see that lifting it is quite an effort. It weighs about 40 pounds, and I can't lift it any higher than that without a lot of strain. So now, We'll spin it up to two and a half thousand revs a minute, at which point it becomes a live thing. Then I shall lift it five feet in three seconds by going round in a big circle.
Whilst I'm doing it, I shall talk to you so that you shall tell from my voice that I'm not under any stress of any kind. Now in a minute I shall let go with my left hand and holding this remote end of the shaft only I shall lift the wheel through five feet all on its own with no effort on my part. All I do is apparently just to steer it along a path that it's already decided it would like to go. Then there's the question of how you stop the wheel. At that speed, that wheel has enough energy to throw itself 200 feet in the air. Did you notice that as it went round in a circle, there was no centrifugal force trying to pull my arm out sideways? Let's just do it once more to save time, we've already spun it up. So here goes 40 pounds of wheel as light as a feather. This is not a conjuring trick, this is a fact of science. Watch it again carefully. A fact about a spinning wheel that so far everyone has missed. 